In November, I had this overwhelming feeling that I was just not doing enough. And I really searched of what enough was. Um, could I be kinder to people? Could I be more aware of people in need? Could I uh, be a better witness for the Lord? Could I be a better servant for Him? Um, I just didn't know what I needed to do, but I knew that I needed to do more. I felt such a gratitude for all that I had. Um, it was during the holidays, and you know, I still have my mama, I still have my family. Um, none of us were really affected by COVID other than having friends and loved ones being affected, but it never affected my immediate family. And I just felt such a gratitude for God for all that he was giving us and for all that he had given me. My heart was breaking for those that had lost loved ones, and so many of them were celebrating the holidays with loved ones, someone that they had lost, or either lost jobs, lost income, um, and times were just looking very, very gloomy. And we are living in dark times, and the events of this week shows us just how dark these times are. There's so many people out there that have no hope, no light, Evil is abundant, and it's almost as if I feel at times that Satan is staging a grand finale, that he's getting ready and that he's pulling all the stops out, that he's doing his best and that this is a big grand finale for him. Psalms 27.1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom shall I dread? And this is in the Word of God, and I love my Bible, and I love the Word of God. I get so much power from this Bible, and I feel like the only thing more powerful than what this Word in my Bible is just when you speak the name of Jesus. I think that's the only thing that's more powerful than His Word. Several weeks ago in the middle of the night, I woke up and I was sobbing. There was not anything attached to this crying. I just could not stop crying. There was no nightmare, no dream. I didn't know why I was crying, but as I lay there, I listened to the wind outside. It was cold. It was dark. There didn't seem to be any moon, no stars. It was just a darkness, and I had this overwhelming presence of God, though. He was all over me, and I heard him speak to me, and it wasn't an audible voice, but it was not like a Holy Spirit speaking to me. This was God, and he was speaking to me. My heart immediately started feeling just really burdened for those that were homeless. It was so cold outside and so dark. I thought of the darkness. I thought of those that were desperate, those that felt alone, those that were heartbroken, those that felt no hope, no light, and those that were in total despair. And when God spoke to me in this voice, he said, he said to me, I want everyone that comes to New Holland for counseling, for guidance, for prayer, for hope, for encouragement, I want them to be given a Bible. I want all the houses on the streets to have a Bible, and I want a letter from New Holland attached to the Bible. I want the letter to say that New Holland desires to share the light and love of Christ in these dark times, that New Holland loves them, and we're here to minister to them. And then God showed me these two streets on each side of the church, and he showed me a clear vision of the streets and the houses. And as I lay there, I was like, that is a great idea, God. I was really excited about it. And... But my mind immediately went to the times when I've been troubled, when I've been heartbroken, when there was just no rest. And we all go through those times, you know, when you're just so burdened, you can't sleep. It seems like you try to rest, and your mind and your heart goes in a million directions, and there's just no peace. My mind went to how we all have those nights and how dark it seems. And it seems like our troubles are magnified in the deepest, darkest night. And I thought about the light of the world and the light in his word. And I thought about how in those dark times in my life, how I would take my Bible, I'd go to the living room, flip on the light, and just sit there with my Bible in the still of the night. And I thought about how God would give me such peace, how his word would settle my soul. 
how it would give me assurance, it would revive my heart, and was, uh, it, it allowed me to rest. I just felt peaceful. I knew that it was in hands that loved me. John 1.5 says, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not overcome it. We're to all shine a light, and there's no darkness at all that can overcome it because it's the light of the world, because it's God. God's Word says that our names are inscribed in the palm of His hand. It says that it's inscribed, it's engraved in the palm of His hand. So you think about that. Every Christian, everyone that accepts God, their names are in the palm of His hand. It doesn't say they're tattooed. doesn't say it's written in Sharpie. It's not written in pen, pencil. It doesn't say it can be washed away. It says it is inscribed, engraved. It's there permanently, never to be removed. Our hope and joy is in the Lord. I'm really excited about what God is, is telling me to do. He's not asking me. He's telling me, and I'm not questioning Him. And I don't know if there'll be 100 people or 100,000 people that might get a Bible, but this I know, that there will be at least one person that will get a Bible from New Holland Baptist Church, that they'll open up that Bible, and this word will absolutely change their life. And how do I know that? It's because the Bible says his word does not come back voided. Any time that we do things for God, it's not in void. It's not in vain. We may not see it this side of heaven, but there is at least one person that is going to get a Bible, and it will change their life because we all know how God has changed our life and what the Word means to us. I want you to pray with me in this journey, in this Bible ministry. I really don't know what to call it. So I'm calling it, I guess, a Bible ministry, and we can come up with another great name for it. But God is telling me to do this. He's going to equip me with everything that I need because it's not me. And he wants you to share this with me, though. He wants a letter to be with those Bibles that lets people know that New Holland Baptist Church loves them, that we are there for them, that we are going to help shine God's light with this dark, dark world. Thank you for listening to me. I hope it's not been really scattered. If it has, you can talk to me after the service. But... Um, I love New Holland Church. I love what you mean to me. And I want everybody to have a church like this. I want everybody to know New Holland. I want everyone to know Jesus. And I want everyone to have a hope and a peace that when they can't rest, that they can go to this right here, to a word, and that they will be able to feel a peace and assurance that God is in control, God is on his throne, and how much God loves us. And it all says it right here. It's all here every Every, every problem we have, the answer is here. And uh, I, I love this church. I can walk through the doors of this church and I feel such a peace and it seems like troubles vanish, and they do. And uh, I appreciate you. I know that God has told me to do this because I love people and I know he's asking the church to do this with me because he knows New Holland and he knows your hearts and he knows how much you love people too and how much... You want to be a light to shine in the darkness. Thank you.